Hello, producer, and welcome now to Monday. Well, it's going to be a cloudy day for the Tauruses, and hyper-aware, I do believe. The moon, which focuses our emotions, is focusing yours on Libra, or in Libra, which is your home your and your living lifestyle. So whatever your lifestyle is right now, you are sensitive to that lifestyle. That sensitivity actually began late Saturday night, early Sunday, when moon moved into Libra, and emotional focus began to be acutely aware. This is the transit where you can mislike cast a dis-ease in your soul if you're not being conscientious of how well you're treating yourself and how well you're treating your body, or if you're in a bad situation at work, or you're in a bad commute situation could make you emotionally sensitive. If you do find that you are oversensitive during the day bull, just make it to tonight. The moon moves into Scorpio, your opposite sign, somewhere around 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time in the United States. Now zip around the sun, we're officially in chapter one of Sun in Virgo, and this is going to be a very intense month, I think, for the Tauruses, for everyone on the planet. Why? Well, because I think in the next 30 days, you will either graduate or fail the Saturn Virgo transit. What's the topic? Well, I will tell you. Two years ago, in September 2007, Saturn entered into what we call your fifth house in Virgo and said to all Tauruses, okay, so you want to actually pull your dreams off. You really want to fall in love? You really want your inner child out there to be able to play? We've got a lot of spiritual work to do. So in the last two years, Taurus has been working on getting back to their inner child, stripping away the issues that prevent your child from playing, finding your creativity again, finding true romance again, and being honest with yourself about what you really want. So in the next 30, you're going to finally complete that transit or fail it. People do fail. They refuse to work. And then you've got to wait for Saturn to come around and encourage you again in 30 years. So I really recommend you do the work. Now, by the end of the um, uh, week, I think you'll have a clear understanding of the arc of the month. By the end of the week, Saturn's going to show you this is the light at the end of your tunnel. This is what the potential is of your dreams coming true. So you're going to see your dreams potential in the next five days. But with the sun ruled by Uranus on Thursday, you're also going to see where you are now. So you're going to have a nice outline of the light at the end of the tunnel, and here's where you are now. And the good news is if you take advantage of this gravity, you'll get there, baby. If you don't, it might be a hard path. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for, the, uh, for Monday to start the week. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So